Diego Avellini demonstrates, on our model Paula, one of the haircuts from the new Minimal collection. After separating the hair centrally, part the left side above the crown area by creating a slightly rounded parting. Secure the left internal area. Repeat on the other side, isolate and secure the right internal area. In the back area, with a vertical parting, bring the first lock up vertically, keeping it tight between your fingers and deciding an initial length. Cut the section diagonally using the slide cutting technique. Proceed on the right side with the second lock. Bring it out diagonally and maintaining the same length as the previous lock, cut in the same way. Bring out the third lock to a 90 degree angle and maintaining the same initial length, cut the section diagonally using the slide cutting technique. Continue with the next lock, bring it up vertically and keeping it tight between your fingers, cut in the same way. Bring out the last lock of the external back area diagonally and starting from the same length of the last lock, cut diagonally. Bring the first lock of the external front area up vertically and cut. Bring out the second lock of the front external area diagonally and starting from the same length of the last lock, cut in the same way. Bring out the last lock to a 90 degree angle and maintaining the same length, cut the section diagonally using the slide cutting technique. Continue in this way to complete the left side, repeating each lock symmetrically. This type of technique, which we have called multi-point cutting, creates layers in the hair, giving it maximum freedom of form and movement with different effects depending on the depth and angle of the layer. The selection of every section will depend on the hair type, the shape of the head and the desired variations, accentuating or diminishing the movement and volumes to create. Define the perimeter of the shape. Starting from the central part, find and separate the left fringe area by creating a rounded parting. Repeat on the other side. Bring out the first central lock to a 90 degree angle with respect to the head and using the slide cutting technique, round out the shape. Bring out the second lock in diagonal and cut in the same way. Repeat on the entire fringe area. In the internal area with the sunburst part, 
bring the first central lock upwards, keeping it tight between your fingers, decide an initial length and cut while utilising the slide cutting technique, rounding out the shape. Proceed with the following locks, keeping them horizontal and cut in the same way. The locks of the internal area will be completely disconnected from those of the external area, creating greater movement and lightness to the cut. Finish with the same technique on the entire left side. Continue on the right side with sunburst parts and cut in the same way. The choice of length of the haircut in the internal area and its disconnection from the external area will depend on the hair type, head shape and desired variations, accentuating or diminishing the movement and volume to create. Elisa Vidotto demonstrates the colour technique double shade of the new Minimal collection, an innovative and current technique thanks to the diagonal parts in the internal area. But the real novelty is the reverse two-toned effect, which exalts the colour nuances, creating softness and movement. Use no inhibition silkening milk to give softness and shine to the hair. Distribute over hair and ends. Apply no inhibition curl definer to the hair to increase flexibility, definition and resistance to the hairstyle. To strengthen the structure of the hair and give maximum volume to the style, Use no inhibition texturizing and volumizing foam on the roots and ends. Create a light pre-dry using a vent brush in order to create defined volume at the roots on the first two to three centimeters of the hair. Use a round brush with a sufficient diameter for the type of movement to create with a diagonal part. Wrap the hair around the brush and dry while continuing to wrap the hair around itself. Continue in the same way for all of the hair. To give greater natural movement to the hairstyle, alternate the selection of hair with the emptying technique. Take a small quantity of no inhibition defining and shining wax to define and shine the ends of the style created. Spray a small amount of no inhibition volumizer hairspray into your palms 
and with delicate movements, define the direction of the hair, giving light hold and flexibility. To give greater shine to the hair alongside the face, use a couple of drops of no inhibition fluid gloss. Finish with no inhibition volumizer hairspray to increase the duration and memory effect of the style.